This is our lab setup for Nessus Vulnerability Scanner. The first thing we need Kali Linux. We are going to use the ready-made VM image which we can download from Kali.org. I will show you. Even though we can install Nessus on different operating system on Mac OS, on Windows and also other flavor of Linux. Then we need three vulnerable server. You can use one vulnerable server and you can use any flavor of vulnerable server. In this case, we're going to use was vulnerable server, window XP and Metasploitable 2. Even though there are many other vulnerable server, I will show you that one if you want to use. And all these are connected through net, VM net 8, either we call them net interface in VMware workstation. So if we go to VMware workstation by default, you're going to see two adopter. So we have host only and we have net, which is VM net eight. So we're going to use this one because it's provide internet access as well. If you have internet in your system and the range is 192.168.114 and DHCP is already enabled. In case if you want to follow with me, so even you can change your net range to my one to make them similar. Just change this to 114. In your case, it will be 192.168, but the third digit will be different. So you can make them the same like mine. Just change this to 114. So we have host only and we have VM8. So in this case, we're going to use VM8 for all the system to connect each other. Okay. And the range is 192.168.114. All the system and it will be reached to internet. All the system will be reachable to the internet and the gateway is 1142. And you can find out the gateway if you go to your net and just click net setting so here is the gateway 192.168.1142 one is normally assigned to your interface okay and two is the gateway so this thing is clear now for window xp we're gonna use window xp pro with server our service pack one we're gonna use was broken web application 1.2 Kali Linux, we're going to use the updated one. I believe there is now Kali Linux 2023.3. Even you can use this one as well. Metasploitable 2, which is a vulnerable server. We're going to use that one. The Nessus version, we're going to use 10.6.3, which is the updated and latest version. Management, I'm using window 11, where we will set up all these things the VMware is already installed in my window 11 external gateway as I say 192.168.1142 internal subnet is also the same we're gonna use for all and all the system will get IP through DHCP and even we can assign them a static IP as well if you want however they will get automatically from the net cloud because I show you the net cloud have a DHCP server as well, which is this one. You can see use local DHCP services to distribute IP address to VM. So all the VM will get the same range IP. And if you check the DHCP setting, it's going to start the IP from 1 to 8 till 254. They're going to assign in this range. So this system will get 129 something 130 and like this. And we can configure a static IP in the same range from two from three, sorry, because two is the gateway from three to 127. Even we can assign static IP as well. It's up to you, whatever easy for you. So this is a simple lab setup, which we will configure in VMware workstation. So in previous video, we already installed VMware workstation 17, where we will set up our first Nessus vulnerability scanner lab and these are the detail so as i say we're gonna use net adapter and this is the net adapter all the system will be configured network adapter net 
and I already show you the range 192, 168, 114.